Hi guys, it's me, Candy Messy Soper, and today um, I'm flying solo. This is Rustic Essentials uh, Summer Spring Summer Haul Part Two, and uh, there's no Gabe because he's at work, and Hunter was gonna do it with me, but she's at work, so I gotta get this video posted. So I just figured I'd do it by myself, so you get me all to yourself. So um, I am super excited about this one. I'm recording on my phone too, um, but I'm super excited about this one. Um, like I was with the first one. This one is more tropical and drinks and just, uh, it's guys. So I already did open it. Um, long story short, I had a root canal, then I had a crown lengthening. I had stitches in my mouth. So when I got this package, I just wasn't really feeling up to doing it, but I feel great now. Stitches are gone, you know, so we're going to get started. Um, very first one we're going to start with is tangerine gelato. So this is my top fave already. Um, let me grab it. So I'm going to be doing the reading. I'm going to be doing everything. <laughs> so just bear with me, honey. Bear with me. So if you see me looking off um, or doing this because I'm pausing the camera. So tangerine gelato is a say hello to bliss with our smooth and creamy tangerine gelato. Sea Kiss tangerine, tangerine blends effortless. I can't seem to speak today. Blends effortlessly with orange cream sickle, lemon zest, nutmeg, vanilla, a shot of smoky tequila and sparkling white woods. Tangy, creamy and smooth. So um, I was telling the owner about this one that the names are perfect because this actually, if you've ever had gelato, I've had gelato from Italy, and if you've ever had gelato, this smells just like a real tangerine gelato. So um, I'm going to open it, and already I smell the stuff, but that was a few days ago, so I'm going to give you my second impression. <laughs> so yes, oh, that makes my mouth water. I really want some gelato now. It smells just like tangerine gelato so if you are into like the ice creams or gelatos definitely get this one and i've been wanting some uh like foodie or dessert type fragrances so i'm very excited about this one the next one i'm going to do is screaming pineapple and it says the tropics are calling screaming your name with this over-the-top somewhat tart pineapple scent that bursts forth with ripe pineapples sweet pear nectar Tart white grapefruit and spicy banana. Come along for the ride. Our, our come along for the ride. Our creamy coconut milk, agave, nectar, and sparkling champagne on a base of ozone, subtle musk, and rich vanilla. So, this one to me, it smells like pineapple, but to me, it smells like a soft pineapple because I've had their pineapple cilantro and then I've had their pineapple and Oh, it was, uh, I can't think of the name of it. It's the one that I used for my cast pajama originally. White. It was white something in pineapple. But this one is softer to me. It's not as uh, strong, but it smells just like pineapple. It's so, it's really, yeah, it's really, really good. But it's, it's a very soft pineapple, in my opinion. It might be different because Gabe smelled it, and he smelled really, really loud pineapple, but I didn't. Okay, so the next one, which is my number one fave, is rose milk. So rose milk is, in a word, amazing. This fabulously del delicate and silky concoction of creamy coconut, cream, juicy berries, sweet apples, and whispers of rose petals dance amongst, among fresh figs, smooth cashmere, and sponge sugar nuances. Sweet, fruity, flirtatious, with a delicate note of rose. Now, I like rose. <laughs> I like milk. <laughs> it smells like rose milk. It it really, really does. And, and I know that sounds odd, but I can't really explain it any clearer than that. It's, it's so just delicate. Oh, that smells good. It's a sweetness. It's a soft rose. It's a milky, that's what, it's a milky rose. If that's the best way I can explain it. I just, I love this one. This one is my favorite. It really, really is my favorite out of all of them. So that is rose milk. And then we're going to move on to, did I even show, sorry. I didn't show you screaming pineapple. There you go. So the next one we're going to do is watermelon sorbet. 
let me find it i just love like i said fruity all of these I, i'm just in love so you've been asking for a body safe watermelon fragrance oil and we finally found one that we think you'll love an explosion of juicy ripe watermelon and honeydew mixed with kiwi and strawberry on top of a bed of heady tropical flowers white musk and vanilla this is an amazing watermelon that is safe for any slash all body products and sure to be a hit with your customers so there you go that's watermelon sorbet i'm gonna smell it that's really nice that's really really that smells like watermelon sorbet okay so again if you had sorbet which i'm pretty sure most people have and you've had watermelon it smells just like watermelon sorbet but the watermelon has a creaminess to it if that makes any sense to you um i guess it's from the sorbet but yeah this one i i told her when i smell them they're all my favorite <laughs> i just can't decide so this one goes in my top three for sure so right now we have the tangerine gelato the watermelon sorbet and the rose milk those are my top threes okay um what see what we're doing next okay so next we're going to do blue grotto and i've actually been to the blue grotto <laughs> that one kind of got away from me yeah when i went to italy i went to the blue grotto so there it is full of bubbles because i dropped it so blue grotto into enter the magical blue grotto and drift away on the fruity clean breeze of Fruity limoncello, pineapple, sugar mint, sea infused tropical flowers, and the sun drenched volcanic rock and bleached coral that surrounds you. It's so beautiful there. It really, really is beautiful there. Yes. Oh, yes. This one. Oh, I put that on my lip. <laughs> this one smells like sea air, a hint of saltiness, and just a, like a beautiful. It smells like a flower, like a tropical flower. It is just, yeah, this one's love. You can smell a slight bit of sugar, like a sugary note to it. And I think that's like a bottom note of sugar. But this one, yeah, I think I already have an idea of what I want to make out of this one. I told Gabe, I believe I already know it. It's going to be like a seascape, you know, you'll see. So next we're going to go with Calypso Orchid, which is here. And Calypso Orchid says, our sensual version of the Calypso Orchid, also known as Fairy Slippers, bursts with a tropical sweet, earthy freshness. Leche, melon, and sun-ripened raspberries are balanced with rose petals, ripe cherries, and plums. Airy Orchid, heady gardenia, and a comforting dry down of patchouli and drenched wood. So I'm really excited about this. I like, I like florals. I do like florals. Not all, but I do like florals. Yeah, this one is so pretty. It's very, very pretty. This one smells to me like um, a high-end fragrance. Um, this would be good in a high-end candle. It would be good in like when you're really, really uh, over-the-top design soaps. I really like this one a whole, whole lot. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to make something really pretty with something pipe for this one. So that's my idol on that one. Okay. Um, the next we're going to do Mermaid Dreams. Which is here. Mermaid. Come on. There we go. <laughs> so Mermaid Dreams. Journey into the magical realm of the ether ethereal. I always have problems with that word. Ethereal mermaid. With its enchanting combination of marine accord, sea moss, citrus fruits, and water mint. With a hint of magical tropical flowers. And a subtle base of vetiver. I love vetiver. And cedar wood. A beautiful and airy clean ocean scent. So let's see. Yes, that is so, that's very unique. And when I mean unique, I mean, it's, you're not going to smell anything like it. It smells fantastic. Because I've had a couple of fragrances that were called mermaid something or other. But this one, it's, it honestly, personally, I think that this can actually pass as unisex as well. But who says mermaids are all mermaid, mermaids, mermaids. Okay, <laughs> never mind. I figured that one out quickly. <laughs> But I, I feel like you can pass this one off as um, a unisex fragrance. It is very heady. Um, it's, it's soft. 
maybe I'm wrong. Maybe. Yeah, I, I do feel like this could be unisex. Um, this is very dreamy. That's the best way I can explain this one is being very dreamy. I like this one so, so much. So this is going to go in my group of high end, um, either candle or fragrance, um, uh, idea or whatever I come up with but yeah I like that one a lot and I'm so sad because we're getting to the end just that fast I know I blew through this one but um I got a lot of stuff to do and I really 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 wanted to get these to you guys so you can get over and shopping because they are up and live on Rustic Essential right now so you don't have to wait as soon as you're done with this video I know I got you the first time with part one but yeah I'm just gonna get you to open your pockets a little bit more for part two because you're gonna want these all right, so the next one we're going to do is Palmetto Sunset, which is here. And this one says, in the film South Pacific, lush palm trees are silhouetted against the setting sun as the characters dance and find love under the, wind, the warm tropical breeze. This is what we imagine and smell like. Tropical citrus and fresh pineapples mingle with orange blossoms, jasmine, coconut, and watery nuances on the base of sea silk woods intoxicating taco bean vanilla and rich amber that's right up my alley if you guys know me i like the earthy like i like tonka i like vetiver oud any of that that's right up my alley so this one yes oh i think i just got a flash of a soap that i want to do let me just see if i can remember it i'm gonna have to write that one down so so this one to me smells more more floral and fruity than the like the uh, the woody to me yeah you can smell notes of fruit you can smell notes of floral and maybe there's a bottom note of something musky but for the most part i feel like it's um more tropical yeah that's why i feel like it's more of a tropical fragrance so yeah i if you look on their website their thumbnail for this it just gives me an idea of what to do uh, yeah, this one's really, really good, but I feel more that this is, you get the more of the tropical notes than the tonka and the vanilla. I don't really get the vanilla. So, um, next we're going to do, let me find, next we're going to do Prosecco Blush, and I'm very, very, very excited about this one. Um, it is right here. Come on. There we go. Prosecco Blush. It says, enjoy a glass of this delightful fruity Italian wine, crisp pomegranate, ripe raspberry, juicy citrus, and spun sugar linger alongside carnation, strawberries, and lush apricot blossoms with base notes of pink Prosecco, heady vanilla, and musk, a delicious treat to tempt your senses. So, um, I just like a Prosecco. I think Rustic, I believe Rustic had a Prosecco before. Yeah. It wasn't this release, like the first part of this. It was last release, last year's. Um, so I'm just, I'm all for Prosecco. Yeah. Oh, this smells like, it smells like pomegranate and orange. It's very fruity. Um, yeah, I'm getting pomegranate, orange, and yeah. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> I was steaming up the bottle from smelling it but oh that's that's lovely that's a very very nice fruity it's like a fruity a fruity i don't want to say wine because i don't get a wine note but it's it's very fruity i love this it's so it's fresh and fruity that's the best way i explain that one and last but not least we have white caps i am so sad but i'm so excited because now i get to use them um i've already done you guys will be seeing I did, I did film because a lot of you asked me, um, to do candle making videos or, um, uh, paper moon videos. And I'm just kind of like, how much can you really see in a candle making video is just me pouring wax. But I did do market front from, uh, part one of this, uh, video, I mean this haul. And once I get this uploaded, if it's not immediately linked, I will go back and link part one for those of you who haven't saw it. But, um, yeah, I did do market front in a candle and it smells amazeballs. 
and then I did oh my god sun salutations let me tell you guys and I know this is part two but I just have to tell you because I have experience and use it you need to get sun salutation you really 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 need to get sun salutation because it smells amazing and you need to get barley grass don't sleep on bar trust me you want barley grass it smells like a very expensive perfume it a high-end perfume it smells amazing so we're going to get back to white caps i just had to tell you that if you were thinking about those or you weren't sure about barley grass don't think about it anymore just go ahead and get it uh let me find white caps okay so last but not least we have white caps which is here come on okay <laughs> so white caps it says gentle salty waves slap at your feet as you relax in the tropical sun sipping on fresh coconut water laced with citrus and apples i love apples and any fragrance oil i swear i do your body fully protected by that subtle familiar coconut scented lotion the ocean mist lingers in your hair and notes of sun bleach driftwood delicate tropical flowers carry on the warm breeze fantastic tropical scents loaded with toasted coconuts and tropical fruits one of our faves i'm all for tropical anything tropical drinks tropical fruit i will take that over anything uh gabe quick so gabe he loves adventure with weird foods and things like that and he gets me he does all the grocery shopping so he'll get like yogurts and things like that and he'll go get blueberry i'm like blueberry dude i like tropical so tropical is right up my alley so we're gonna smell this one yes oh yes the very first note that i get right off the bat is coconut from this one Mhm. Mm yeah ah so i don't know what um the coconut scented lotion um because i don't use uh, suntan lotion or anything like that but um you can you can if you can imagine if you don't know what it smells like it has like a kind of a lotion smell to it but I don't know how to explain it. Jeez, let me see. Yeah, it's kind of like, it's very tropical, but it's not like pow in your face. It's a subtle tropical. Coconut is the very first thing that you smell. And I've used like uh, sunblocks and things like that. And just that really nice creamy smell. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, I get that. This is really really nice oh man this is a good fragrance and i'm not a huge fan of coconuts but i love this one i really do so this one is my top uh, number four in my top four so yeah guys that is all um i can't really yet because i'm holding my camera but uh do go and get these i'm um, not these yeah get them all you know what just get them all but <laughs> You won't be disappointed. When I opened this box, I was like, whoa, dude, whoa. It smells so good. Like right now with me holding these four, I might do some mixing. I don't know because all of, all of these smell so good together. But yeah, um, go shop, 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 shop. You won't be disappointed. Everything's over there right now. Um, get something from the first haul. Get something from the second haul, part one, part two. Trust me, like I said rustic to me in my opinion and i think i've been yeah doing uh haul reviews for rustic for three years now and to me this is the hands down best one that's just what i think it's some really really well hold on because <laughs> i had to think about um my white velvet ball that was my honey yes but yeah I kind of feel like this one is at the top. It really, really is at the top. There is so many good fragrances. I don't care what your scents are, what types you like. You're going to love, love, love these fragrances, especially this part two. My gosh, part one, what I thought part one was good, but part two is just amazeballs. So again, thank you, Rustic, for always loving on me and sending me such great fragrances to review for you all and let everybody know what you guys got going on. You will see me make these in videos, so you'll see how they perform. Um, and I, I'm very honest about uh, how fragrances perform. Sometimes it's not the fragrance. It's just my recipe if it goes rogue. <laughs> but if it does have any issues, I will tell you, and I have to say that I don't. I've probably had maybe two fragrances that I've come across in Rustic that um were like the soap gremlins came along with it but for the most part 
mm -mm. rustic has very unique fragrances they have really really good good fragrances that stick in your soap they do not fade so yeah head over to rustic fill your uh, shopping cart you're going to thank me and if you're wondering what my shirt says there says it says there's a 99 percent chance i don't care so, <laughs> i wore that work and i was just like should i have worn that shirt to work <laughs> anyway guys happy shopping i'll see you guys in the next making video bye